Hey guys, I'm Angel Light Hero 23, and I want to let you all know I am stepping up my spiritual game. <clears throat> Fred said, Fred's God, by the way. Um, Fred said, um, you know, I really know what I'm doing, and when Archangel Metatron said I should be the keeper of the Akashic Records on this realm, God was like, you're right. She's so good at what she does. I made that one so perfect for the job. And what we're going to do now is talk about some things. I don't even know yet. We're just going to do it. Um, Fred said, get out the angel tarot deck. So here we are. And look at all these cards with answers that I made to go along with these tarot readings. Like, me and the angels are really stepping up our game. I'm going to bring it on this season. It's our season. <clears throat> this is actually Thanksgiving time, so what the focus is actually gonna be for a while is being thankful lessons around gratitude um lessons about where you came from roots seriously think about all the things that go along with thanksgiving potatoes Sweet potatoes. They were like roots, technically. Carrots. Roots. <laughs> Squashes and pumpkins. You know, when you take time to remember why you do certain things, you remember why you're thankful for this, you remember where you came from, and it, it, it it's all self-reflection time really after the summer you know in the summertime we spend a lot of time outside and we connect with the sun and we spend a lot of time with sun god outside and, and just feeling warmth and radiance and and love with the universe but then the seasons change sadly it's cold seasons and then we spend more time inside. And during that time, we remember what we are thankful for in the summer that we miss. And if we didn't experience those cold months, the, the warm months wouldn't be so great when they come back. And that's what I focus on because I actually have a personal problem with it changing i i don't have a problem with it changing i i actually like the change but at the end of winter i'm just so, so fucking done with winter i cannot wait for it to be over because <laughs> i'm a person that needs sunshine <laughs> i'm a sun my spirit more connects with the sun more the the light side of things so uh, some of us connect more with the dark side. Um, uh, those, those are moon characters. They like to stay hidden. They 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 are comfortable in the darkness. And that's what it comes down to is comfortability. Um, yeah. Depends on where your soul came from. Like how many lifetimes have you lived? Where do you come from? A lot of people have no idea they even lived other lifetimes. And you, like, bring knowledge over subconsciously from other lifetimes. <clears throat> and this has been, like, proven. Like, a lot of times, kids will, like, remember. Or they'll, like, say weird shit. And they won't know it's them talking about their past life. 
They're just, they're, you're like, wow, you got a wild imagination. But, like, literally, you can connect with spirits and stuff. Especially when you're, like, young. Because you're learning. And you don't have as much guards to things like that. You're not as aware of things like that. And if you're acting strange, like, you don't, you're not really aware of, like, when you're a kid and you're acting strange, you think you're just being silly. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but this is connected to spirits. The spiritual realms. Like, a ghost can, like, connect with you. You ever watch those paranormal investigator shows and then you'll see, like, an orb go into somebody? They're just, like, connecting with you energetically. And you can, like, gain knowledge. Just like that, like a download. Like you're a computer. It's crazy. And it, it resonates with internet. Because I learned my ex worked for Mediacom, a cable company. And it's, like, light speed. You heard that right and the light travels through the cables and the information from the spirits is is transferred to you like the same way but it's energetic differently like you don't actually need a cable to connect but when you first go on a spiritual journey and sometimes the signs get overwhelming and you literally have to imagine unplugging from the divine web. We're all connected to the web. And sometimes you'll feel like, like if something happens to somebody, like it's part of your soul tribe on the divine web, you'll like feel that in your energy, like, ooh, something's off. And you'll like call somebody because you feel like it's connected to them. <clears throat> or maybe subconsciously, it's just happening. You don't even know. That you need to check up on them. But that's how divinely orchestrated everything is. And when there's illusions around things, like I call them angel illusions, when there's angels illusions around stuff like that, it's because they want to protect you from knowing the hidden enemies. Because your life can become scary. It depends on who you are. Like, I am comfortable with knowing the truth about things. If, if somebody was a murderer, a serial killer or something, and somebody needed to talk to them and figure out what's actually going on with them, what stemmed them to do this, I'm a person that can talk to them. I can treat them like an equal still because they're a human being. And that's what we're supposed to do is treat each other as equals. And, you know, maybe if if that person was treated a different type of way, if they were treated like an equal their whole life, maybe they wouldn't have gone to this lifestyle of just killing. I have myself been to the point where I'm like, I hate everybody. I didn't want to kill people. I'm more connected to the light side. But other people who are close to that dark side and then they just feel like they're smart enough to do something and get away with it then they just go on a whim and do it and then they don't get away with it they're like damn I'm stupid I shouldn't have done that I am thinking ahead I, I know I'm not smart enough to get away with some shit because I am so connected to the divine I know that anything done in the dark will always come to the light I will never do anything I can't speak about. Literally. <clears throat> Even if I did some drugs tomorrow. Like if somebody offered me some drugs and I was like, you know what? I've been good my whole life. Fuck it. I'm just going to get fucked up today. And then I'm going to walk away from this. And I'll just have a story to tell. I would tell somebody I did that. <laughs> I'd, I'd be like, eh, bucket list. And if they were to judge me, I would say, haven't you ever cleared something off your bucket list? 
And they would be like, all right, I got any room to talk. <laughs> Probably. All right. Well, let's get into this tarot. <clears throat> I'm never going to clear killing somebody off my bucket list. That is just not ever going to get on my bucket list, you know? If that gets on somebody's bucket list, there's a problem that needs to be solved for sure. All right, we got Seven of Pentacles, the lovely God. Uh, discernment, general prosperity, the deliverance from prisoners. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Metatron is the Wheel of Fortune in this deck. Wow, that's what we needed to see. The Recording Angel. That's... Damn! I said Archangel Metatron. Said I should be the keeper of the Akashic Records. And here we are. On this card it says the Recording Angel. Recording everything that is happening at this time. Advancement and progress teaches, guides, and records events in the Book of Life. In the book of life, yo. And then we have a king of swords, the exalted God. When God's in his king of swords energy, man, you better fucking listen. That's like when your dad steps up and he's like, all right. I fucking know you guys been fucking around while I was off on vacation. I told y'all not to have a fucking party. What'd you do? Had a fucking party. And now my shit's missing. You know? Something like that. Something serious. That's the King of Swords energy. So we have victory. Grants victory and protects from lightning. Oh, wow. Alright. Let's pull a couple of these cards. Somebody is feeling confused about a situation for a person. They need to ask more questions. <clears throat> They're looking power hungry. Archangel Michael said so. Need to be protected. Divine protection from these power hungry people. Life is an adventure. Embark now. So go for it. I'm going for something. Going for being a pro. Lovers and friends. Somebody's not easily fooled, or somebody is a master at their skills, or they're trying to go for being that. But if you do nothing, but if you don't do anything, nothing will happen. Maybe walking away, and we have. Angel illusions. Okay, somebody thinks they're a pro at something and they don't want something to happen because they've created an illusion themselves, I think. We got change. This is something around change. Looking to go out for some injustice. What? 
888. <clears throat> a positive message. All right, this eternal being brings positive message. Somebody is looking to go out for an injustice. Like, they're trying to keep shit hanging. They want to set somebody up, I think. That's why they're keep, keeping shit stuck in limbo. They're going to show that they're, they have pro-master skills at fucking ruining people. Oh, that makes somebody anxious. Alright. Let's see. Some more confirmation over here. King of Cups. God seeing everything. Restitution. Finds stolen objects and discovers the person responsible. Somebody stole something. Hmm. Nine of Swords. The Comforting God. Purification protects from the impis religious sediments. Oh, we got self-righteous religious. And then we have Three Pentacles collaborating. For what? What were they collaborating to do? Predators. Child endangerment? Oh my god. At the same time? Oh my god. This is appalling. Well, where there's a will, there's a way. For they think that if the, there's a will, there's a way that they can continue being predators. That's disgusting. This is in God's hands. This is coming straight off the top, guys. I ain't even picking them. Dumping ashes. Framing Roger Rabbits. Throwing dirt on people's names. Watch out for those people, man. I keep getting these messages. Go outside your comfort zone. Try to learn some new things. <coughs> messy planting seeds of growth coming down after reaching a high you are manifesting the outcome that is best for all planning a vicious attack somebody's playing a vicious attack on the people that are actually creating good change for the world Wow, that's fucking appalling. Archangel Raphael is working hard to try to heal shit. Reset. <clears throat> he wants this reset. To spark people's passions again because people have lost the passion for life because of these people. Predators. Steering everybody. There's too many of them. That's what the problem is. Stick these back in here. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. I, I'm getting tired of hearing these messages, but that's what this is boiling down to, everybody. We've been trying to figure out what's been going on for so long. I needed these cards. Here we go. We're going to figure it out. And this Christmas will be a very special Christmas for me. <coughs> Uh, 
I just made somebody nervous. All right, and we got a King of Pentacles, the adored God. Obedience causes harmony and peace, calms anger in anyone. So we have all these kings out here working. Some some people are predators trying to cover their shit up, and some are trying to expose the shit. The helping guide. Love and wisdom, victory over those who would attack you. God's trying to get the victory here in this situation. It did say this is in God's hands. Alright, and we have Eight of Swords. He's gonna sh fucking cut their face off and show them their face. Like this. Alright, God, Protector and Savior. Truth and Justice protects from enemies who would steal one's fortune. Alright, what's around that? Trying to steal someone's fortune. Karmic fog. Someone regrets a choice they made. They're looking sick. Or maybe they poisoned somebody to get them sick. Trying to lay things to rest with some court documents. Something's really sus. Somebody's looking super deranged. On this card it says, You may discover someone is very evil and twisted. Most often times they appear to be stable when their truth is hidden. Something cool might happen. The universe is um, forcing these people to take wise action and um, change. We got, yeah, quit resisting change. Clues. The divine is giving clues to the right people to catch them. Coming down after reaching a high. Somebody is anxious. Somebody's manifesting the best outcome for all people. People are literally running from the law. Like things are getting super exposed. Be be careful, guys. We have murderers, thieves, rapists, all going rogue. Hitting rock bottom. They're waking up to the fact, like, they literally cannot hide anything. Everything is known. <coughs> Got like a tickle in my throat. Curtain calls. What happens at curtain calls? When we call you in to our divine office and we show you your fucking face. That's what happens. This is what you're looking like to everybody. Wake the fuck up. Someone is saying things to distort your view or others. Or maybe they're the person that's trying to distort people's view. You know? Oh, just play safe. You know, uh, uh, that person, uh, they did blah, blah, blah. Don't, don't talk to them. Because they don't want you telling... They don't want that person telling them something they don't want them telling them, you know? 
That's why. Political views. Maria the goals. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> but what for? Looking for attention? Hmm. Things should be simple. Yeah, if you're getting to this point with somebody where they're saying, I'm going to kill myself. That means you're just not meant to be at all. Like, things are not supposed to be like that. Like, you're seriously that unhappy. That means you need to figure something else out. Right? Seriously. <clears throat> it should be easy. Like, relationships. Your job. Life. Everything about it. It should be easy. Looking to touch, but not really buy. We got angel involvement. People are using their cookie or their slinky as the hook. The divine pulls you in like this to teach you a lesson. They want to pull you in to teach you how they're going to control you. They're twisted. Seriously. Judas's. You could have a whole family at home and be happy. But maybe the wife just hasn't been putting out as much lately so somebody comes along and it looks interesting and you go for it and then you regret that later and then all of a sudden they got you blackmailed you're like hey remember when I let you uh and you're like oh yeah um you're gonna tell on me but you won't tell on me if I do this certain thing Okay. Maybe what they're asking them to do doesn't seem that bad. It seems simple. Hmm. Justice in a situation. That's the truth, man. It's all a bunch of liars and cheaters and Bad guys working together to keep us blind to what's reality. Like most of us are living a distorted reality just because <clears throat> other people around us have created an image for us to believe that's not actually true because they're a distorted individual. And then when you start acting a certain way because you believe things are a certain way because somebody told you that's the way it is and you wouldn't expect them to lie about certain things. Then all of a sudden you're looking distorted. Why is that? Everybody needs to wake up to that fact. Point blank period, guys. Don't be a victim of a Judas. Do yourself a justice. Don't be a victim of a Judas. <laughs> what a nice message. Nice message, but a little sad. Because, you know, we realized after hearing something like that, that our suspicions and what our intuition has been telling us about certain individuals is true. They're distorted. They're disgusting. Period. 
<laughs> More issues concerning travel. Dark energy. All right, guys. I'm going to end this here. Peace out. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that. And then you can keep up with the energetic news. That's basically what this is. I'm talking about what's connected to us all. Like, if you, if you believe in God, and you believe in a better future for humanity, this is the right place for you. Okay? Anybody that tells you otherwise, that's they're the ones we're fighting. That's why. Like, they're lacking mentality. They don't understand that they have to go through some changes in order to be what's best for a better future. You see me? I mean, you feel me? <clears throat> like, if they continue to be the problem and they get mad at you for telling them they need a change and then they get a whole gang stalking you because they think you did something horrible when in reality you just pulled them in for a divine lesson and had a face to face with them and said hey you're gonna have to quit doing this this and this so that our whole future can be brighter okay and they're like just battling you fighting tooth and nail to not change why why are some people like that it's usually something pretty intense like nobody wants to fight anybody and hate somebody so fucking much because they don't want to change themselves that's that's sick that's something going on up here okay all right bye